Welcome back and thank you for joining me. In this video I will show you how I replace the front brakes on my Volvo. We're gonna replace the rotors and the brake pads. The current mileage on the Volvo is 77,000 kilometers. I bought the car from original owner many years ago with 32,000 kilometers. I got original parts, I decided to pay extra for quality parts and I don't regret it. Make sure you order the parts by your VIN number. Let's uh, take a look what's inside uh, the box. We've got uh, a set for the front wheels. All the brake pads, they're made in United Kingdom by ATE. Pretty thick pads, very nice quality. Also, you get uh, installation instructions in different languages, which I've actually used. Let's take a closer look at the rotors themselves. What's nice about the Volvo rotors is that in the package you get the two new bolts that hold the bracket. And you're supposed to use new bolts anytime when you remove the rotors. The rotors are painted on the edges, which means they're not going to rust quickly and they will not look ugly on your car. If we take a closer look here at the edge, there is stamped information on the rotor itself, like minimum thickness uh, before you need to replace and so on. The first reason why I'm doing the front brakes on my Volvo is because I started to get vibration anytime when I step on the brakes, especially at higher speeds. And another two bolts that uh, secure the rotor to the wheel hub. And I found out later that I actually could have skipped those uh, two little bolts. And this is where they uh, go in and secure the rotor to the wheel hub. Let's uh, raise the front of the Volvo here. I'm using some jack stands with a rug to prevent metal to metal contact. And I'm actually gonna put four stands just for um, peace of mind, extra safety there. And it's gonna look just like that. Two jack stands actually support the car and the other two stands are just there for extra peace of mind. The electric uh, impact wrench here just saves so much time, especially when I do the switch over winter to summer, summer to winter tires. Now let's take a closer look and I'm going to show you something. How do you know what size of rotors your Volvo has? If you look on the bracket, it's going to tell you. It's, mine is 316 millimeter, which is 12 and a half inch. On the other side, it's going to show you right here the same 316 millimeter. Extra effort is going to be put in on the brake job here. I'm gonna actually paint the calipers. So first I'm gonna be quickly just wire brushing the whole caliper and the bracket. To keep the video nice and short, uh, I'm gonna skip and speed up the process. The next thing I did was washing the suspension. I did spend some time to properly clean the suspension from all the dirt that has accumulated over such a long period of time. And after washing with different brushes and different chemicals, this was the result. Pretty amazing. And of course, this process was repeated on the other side. Alright, so the next step you want to do is open the hood. We need access to the brake fluid reservoir. Once you open the hood, over here there is a uh, cap or a door. Turn it and then just lift it away. Unscrew the brake fluid cap. And we're going to keep an eye on the brake fluid level. Next step is to compress the piston. Take some kind of screwdriver or whatever you have. And slowly just push on the piston. It's going to go in. And what happens at the same time? The brake fluid level is going to go up in the reservoir. So when you compress the piston, the fluid will go up. Let's check the level because I've compressed the driver's side piston here. And if we look at it, it's still okay. So it's not overflowing yet. Let's get onto the passenger side and repeat. 
I'm gonna take the screwdriver here or whatever I have and just push on the piston and actually this piston was way out which means the brake pads are wearing out here so, and now you can see that the fluid is actually at the edge I'm gonna extract some and be careful not to spill on the paintwork of your car because brake fluid is corrosive I'm gonna compress the piston all the way in so the brake level is fine we're gonna close the cup um, replace the lid and close the hood done I got one can of special brake caliper paint it's high temperature it's matte silver color and I have applied four coats in 15 minute interval on both calipers the car was actually on jack stands for four days and every evening after work I spent some time on it and I did extra effort to make this brake job look even nicer the brake calipers actually look like brand new I love it now you're gonna probably ask me what's the damage on the front corner bumper here I'm gonna do a separate video of the accident which happened last winter it's gonna be a separate video on that the next step I got a few cans of the special rust paint it's it's flat it's black and I'm gonna apply a few coats on the suspension components on both uh, the driver and passenger side and you'll see at the end it's gonna look amazing once completed we're gonna do now the brakes first I have to remove this uh, spring which I'm using here a screwdriver with the rack so I don't uh, scratch the fresh paint just pry it out and it pops out at the back there is uh, some kind of number and ATE brand stamped on it repeat the same on the other side if you haven't watched my other video where I did the rear brakes on my Volvo I will put the link in the description below take a look now turn the wheels all the way left for easier access to the back of the caliper and you're gonna see a few Torx bolts don't remove those don't touch you will actually need a seven millimeter hex and the locating pins are located under those protective cups just use a flathead driver flathead screwdriver to remove those cups bottom and uh, the upper one and then just unscrew those locating pins as you can see the suspension components are uh, freshly painted here I've missed a couple of spots but once I remove the caliper and the rotor I will respray all the missed areas and I'll give it another few coats of uh, paint there is a video how to replace the brake fluid on my Volvo and here are those uh, Volvo calls it the locating pins I would call them the slider pins whatever once you take them out you want to clean them really well I'm using here a very fine sandpaper use whatever you want wire brush once they're clean they look just like that now it's time to remove the caliper and I'm careful here not to damage the rubber brake hose so be careful the inner brake pad just slides out of the piston next you want to suspend the caliper up on the suspension there so it's not in a way I'm using a string and be careful again not to damage the brake hose make sure it's not kinked and it's not uh, stretched in any way the outer brake pad is uh, out it's pretty thick and looks like the inner brake pad wears out quicker than the outer if uh, you know the reason I would love to hear your comments down below let's compare to the new set this is the outer one now we're gonna remove this bracket uh, there is two bolts there are 18 millimeter socket which we need to remove we have here in Canada very uh, harsh winter conditions lots of salt uh, pretty long winters so there is there is rust on the suspension here and I'm using a breaker bar to loose the bolts and yep it did go make sure you get those bolts new 
don't save because if something goes wrong you're gonna have those bolts on hand and actually the bolts were so tight that I had to use a half inch uh, ratchet and a long um, pipe to unscrew those bolts because they were so tight I just couldn't uh, uh, use the ratchet with my hands let's take a closer look at this bolt and there is a red thread lock maybe that's one of the reasons why it's so tight actually I put that bolt back in now I'm working on the top bolt and here you go those two bolts are out and the bracket is in my hands next I will need Torx 50 which will remove the bolt that holds the rotor to the wheel hub actually that screwdriver is unnecessary because I'm using the impact wrench it easily unscrews that bolt there it is and I've actually got two new bolts like that and I think you can just skip it and there you go the rotor is off the car Next, it's very important to thoroughly clean any rust or residue on the hub. I'm using that wire brush. And then I'm gonna spray paint the rest of the suspension here, whatever is left. Again, a few coats with some 15 minute interval. I'm gonna repeat the same process now on the passenger side, removing those plastic caps with the screwdriver. I'm gonna unscrew the locating pins with the seven millimeter hex. Those pins are in my hand. Next, I'm gonna remove the caliper, take out the inner brake pad and suspend the caliper carefully to the suspension up in the air so it's not in the way. The passenger side inner brake pad is really worn out compared to the outer. And if you know the reason why it doesn't wear uh, evenly, let me know in the comments, I would love to hear your opinion. So I'm glad I'm doing the brakes, including the rotors. The locating pins are clean. Don't forget that the car is almost 11 years old. So those bolts were never taken out. So it takes some effort to take them off. And I'm using the pipe here, cleaning carefully the rust and then uh, uh, hammer the socket onto the bolt to make sure I don't strip the bolt itself and there you go the bolts are out and now I can remove the bracket of the car unscrew the little bolt and now the hammer will help me out to remove the rotor of the hub. Here is the last look at the old versus new. This is the driver's side. And that's going to be the passenger side. It's more worn out. And the new pads and rotors. Cleaning the hub with a wire brush on a drill makes it fast and easy. Next step is to clean those uh, areas where the brake pads actually slide on uh, with lubrication. I'm using a sandpaper and just taking my time to thoroughly clean the area. Once completed, this is what it's going to look like. Those places are smooth and this way the brake pads will slide. I did give the brackets a few coats of paint. And now I'm going to show you the result here, the finished uh, effort. The suspension looks night and day compared to what it was before, dirty and all the rust was showing. It just looks really clean. With minimum effort, you can do it at home. I know it's not like perfect 100%, but that's not the point. The point is just to give it a nice look. So when you look at it, it looks good. You don't need anything else. I'm going to leave the car overnight and the next evening I will start reassembling everything. 
Here is the next day. Let's start reassembling. Volvo recommends using this silicon grease for the brakes. I didn't order it because I had something else, something similar. It's the same silicon brake lubricant which I'm gonna use. And you want to lubricate the hub here so that the rotor will not stick to it. Next step is unnecessary, you can skip, but I decided to still degrease with the brake cleaner because the Volvo rotors are packaged and they don't have any oil on them. I'm gonna put the rotor on, I'm gonna pick a new bolt, screw it, and I'm gonna use two different um, levels of torque wrenches. And I'm gonna torque this bolt according to Volvo Vida to 35 Nm. And I did repeat the same on the other side. Oscar, what are you doing? Um, I'm washing the car. You're washing the car? You're gonna break it. What car is this? Volvo. It's a Volvo? Oh, yeah. And your brother, what does, what does he own? Batman motorcycle. Batman motorcycle? Yeah. And what daddy owns? Um, the old, the big, the big um, car. The big car, the big Volvo yeah, and the, the small Volvo? Volvo? And the small Volvo. Sure. Eric, is it clean? No, no. No. Not it's yet? Not yet. Not yet? Anyway, let's continue here, installing the bracket and the new two bolts. I hope that you enjoy watching this video. Uh, to show your support, just hit like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos coming up. And torque those bolts to 200 Nm. Now I'm going to show you how the new brake pads look. Let's put them on just uh, to see. Uh, pretty nice thick pads on a new rotor. Should be nice and smooth when I brake. And this is how it was before. Lots of vibration whenever I brake. Next you need to lubricate uh, the area where the brake pads will slide. I'm using a uh, pick here to carefully uh, lubricate, installing the outer pad. Now I can lower the caliper down and instructions uh, said that you need to lubricate the edge of the piston before installing the pad, which I forgot to do. I don't think it's a very critical step. So the inner pad is in there, just slides in. Now just slide the caliper over the um, bracket there and uh, take a look carefully, pause it here and read the instructions. The instructions say that you need to lubricate those slider pins, which I did. If you have a different opinion why you don't need to lubricate those pins, please comment below. I would love to hear your opinion. And again, lubricating the slider pin and now just screw them back into position. and then torque it to 28 Nm. And replace the protective caps. And the final step is to reinstall this uh, spring, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty tricky, but uh, still possible. Just take your time and be careful not to actually bend it. And I mean, it's flexible, but don't push on it to a point where it's actually the metal will deform. And just to make sure it sits in place, I'm going to tap on it through the rug using the hammer. And I'm going to move over to the driver's side. The bracket is in position. 
I'm going to lubricate uh, the area where the brake pad sit, uh, install the outer pad in its position, lower the caliper, um, reinstall the inner pad in the piston, just pops in, slide the caliper over the bracket, and then we're going to lubricate the locating pins screw them back in and replace uh, torque it and replace the caps reinstalling the spring here and i did scratch a little bit the paint job which is not a big deal Next is uh, I've started the engine and then I'm going to apply the brakes and you're going to see the whole assembly is going to move which means the caliper has extended and now the pads are in contact with the rotor and I did show you here in a few repeats. This is what it looked like when I took the wheels off the car and I could have just replaced the pads, replaced the rotors, put the wheels back on and forget about it. But I spent extra time and effort to make it look like this. Let me know in the comments below if you like it. And in my opinion, it looks amazing. It wasn't that hard to reach this look. And I actually didn't stop there. The wheels were off the car anyway, so I decided to give them a really, really nice clean look. This is what it looked like, lots of tar spots and this is what it's gonna look like, nice and clean. A few brushes and a few chemicals I've uh, used here, especially, not the McGuire's one, especially this gunk brake parts cleaner, honestly worked wonders. It actually dissolves the tar off the wheel real easy. So I've used it with a really soft sponge so I don't scratch the wheel. Take a look. This is the Meguiar's uh, tire and rim cleaner. Soft brush, just look how it dissolves all the brake residue. And then I'm gonna use this uh, Gunk brake parts cleaner to scrub any uh, tar that's stuck onto the rim. And it actually dissolves it really nice. Just take a look here how it dissolves it. I was impressed. And another extra step with the Meguiar's uh, rim and tire cleaner. And then I'm gonna rinse it off. And the wheels look amazing. They look like new from far away. Nice job. And of course, now it's time to do the face. Those are, by the way, brand new tires. And there is a video for that. Link in the description below. And another hard to reach area is where the lug nuts are. I'm using a toothbrush here. And the last step, I'm gonna clean the lug nuts. Some brake cleaner and engine degreaser using a toothbrush will make those bolts look a lot cleaner. And this is the result. They look clean. Time to install the wheels to make sure the wheel will not uh, stick to the rotor. I'm going to lubricate with that synthetic grease. Reinstall the wheels. And I'm going to properly torque the lug nuts using a torque wrench to 140 Nm. This completes the front brake job on my Volvo. The car was on ramps, on jack stands for uh, four days. I spent a lot of time working on it. The camera work takes a lot of time. The editing at the end, the voiceover. So to support me, hit like, subscribe to my channel. 
if you haven't watched my other videos just look on my channel there is lots of useful videos and take a look at the result it looks very new i like it i really enjoyed doing this job i uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye guys